today we would like to share some information with you for your own understanding of your school, but especially for those who will be tour guides for Open House this weekend. And we're very grateful to all who will be assisting with Open House. First, the school for Michael J. K. Curley, the 10th Archbishop of Baltimore. He was a native of Ireland, who was a missionary priest in Florida, and then became the Bishop of St. Augustine, Florida, before he was transferred to Baltimore after the death of Cardinal Gibbons. His portrait can be found in many places in the school, certainly in a variety of poses. Many of these photos and paintings have been given to the school by churches and other institutions that had them, figuring this was the appropriate place for them to be. It opened in 1961 with only freshmen in the building. The building was formally blessed and dedicated on April 17, 1962. That's an anniversary we celebrate each year on Cornerstone Day. That cornerstone can be seen in the chapel wall facing Sinclair Lane near the entrance to the auditorium. The school was built here because there was built here because no Catholic high school for young men on the east side in the city, while many of the largest parishes and parochial schools of that area were within a few miles of Curley. Almost all of Curley's students came from the east side of the city in eastern Baltimore County. That is, of course, much different today when Curley students come from the whole metropolitan area. In 1961, some of those communities were just starting to develop, and the roads are much better today than they were then. It took four years to fully populate the full student body and Curley's, Curley's first grad, graduates were in June 1965. They were real pioneers, starting so many different events at the school. And in 2015, they became the first class of Curley's Golden Friars as they celebrated their 50th reunion. The Friars have been here at Curley since the school, since the school opened as both teachers and at one time, many as 30 Friars on staff. And the Friary include the areas all beyond the chapel where Advancement, the DMRC, and the conference and boardrooms are now located. That is why the chapel is located where it is. It was able to serve the friars for their prayers and the school as well. The chapel originally had a much more traditional look and a picture of that look hangs in the entrance to the chapel. In that same location, there is a memorial book that lists all deceased students, alumni, and staff members, and a plaque remembering the three graduates who died in the Vietnam conflict. There are student publications since the first years of the school, including the yearbook, The Cord, which first appeared in 1963, and a student newspaper, first called The Curly Currents, and then The Curly Chronicle. It continues to appear from time to time. Blackfriars Theater has also been around since the 1960s. Curley was the first high school in the country to perform Leonard Bernstein's West Side Story, which is from Bernstein himself. The proceeds from that show purchased the statue of St. Francis that now stands near the auditorium entrance. Music, music has also been a part of Curley, back to a marching band in the 1960s under the direction of Mr. Joe Miller, he was the one who also wrote and composed Curley's alma mater that we sing at special occasions. One of those original band uniforms hangs inside the entrance to the band room. A separate band room was added to the school, to the school in 1986. It is now room 110. The Hold House Center for the Arts was completed in 2010 as the arts program continued to grow. Boards have always been a, been a big part of Curley. But did you know that the school today has more sports teams than in the earlier decades? And of course, again, the idea of the championships, one only has to look at the framed certificates all around the gym lobby or the banners hanging inside the Father Julian Gymnasium. Certainly that of changes as typewriters gave way to computers and paper notebooks gave way to iPads. Renovations have modernized facilities and continue to add air conditioning. While mechanical drawing was taught in, the 1960s, taught in the 1960s, engineering classes are taught today. Schools are more complex institutions than 50 years ago, but Curley has adapted its governance model, its courses of instruction, 
and many peripheral aspects to keep pace with the time. What has not changed is the spirit of the Curley Brotherhood. While the term was not used in earlier decades, the alumni who return to Curley know it applies to them and to the friendships they formed 10 or 30 or 50 years ago. In fact, in fact, the first graduates are among the biggest donors to the school, helping the institution to adapt, to grow, and to continue to serve an ever new student body. It takes 40, 40 years for a tradition, and today we value the Franciscan tradition, the academic, athletic, and artistic traditions, and what each new generation of students and graduates will bring to the school as the years pass by. I hope to anticipate future growth, many successes, and new possibilities as the years continue to roll by. For now, and Curly proud and Curly strong. Go Curly!